What's up, YouTube? It's Sydney Island here. That's Island with the Y, not an S. This is my Virgo's most annoying habits video. I'm making a annoying habits video for each sign, and now I'm on to Virgo. I just want to say that please do not take any of this seriously. It is all for fun. I do this because I love astrology. Um, it's kind of like a, a map that I use to guide my life. Um, it's also just for fun, just because it's super interesting to me. It's like psychology, but in cosmic form I guess so I'm just gonna get into the most annoying habits about Virgo I got my list right here that I made I have two sisters who are Virgos and I attract a lot of Virgo friends because I'm a Taurus and we're both earth signs so but you best believe that I know like a lot of stuff about Virgos and the things that make them annoying so I'm just gonna get right into it I love y'all Virgos um <laughs> me and Virgos we have a, a really good relationship we get along we have a lot in common we have great communication but there are things about Virgos that make me want to pull my hair out especially saying is the only two sisters that I have are both Virgos so I kind of <laughs> literally had to be smothered within all that Virgo-ness for my whole life so I know all about Virgos um, the first thing that annoys the heck out of me about Virgos is that y'all can be so analytical to a point where y'all literally make something out of nothing like there's nothing happening and y'all are turning something small or insignificant into something huge because Virgos can be ultra dramatic like the most melodramatic people on the planet especially virgo females um and this is the case with both of my virgo sisters and a lot of the virgo girl girls that i have hung out with in the past they all can be so dramatic like as soon as they have a feeling or an emotion they gotta just you know make it into this huge deal and if y'all hear the thunder in the background that's what's happening it's thunder 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 virgos y'all are so dramatic and the crazy thing about it that it also makes it even more annoying about this whole drama with y'all is that y'all don't even realize that y'all been dramatic. Y'all think that y'all just making all the sense in the world, but to other people, y'all just making a big deal out of nothing. Like for example, you could be at an event, right? And somebody's just, it's like an event where you're watching somebody perform or something. And when the event is over, the Virgo will, and will say something negative and about pretty much every, the whole entire event they're like the music was too loud and the person was talking too much and i didn't like the dance moves and the food tasted nasty and they'll just say all types of negative stuff and they'll overanalyze it virgo have a tendency to stress about other people's lives and how they're living their life when you can kind of look at virgo's life and see a lot of chaos and disorganization they can be very hypocritical that's the thing that annoys me virgo, about virgo's is that y'all feel as though y'all can preach about what what's the perfect and ideal life to live whilst living the life that y'all don't want to live you know like y'all can be so hypocritical and y'all focus on other people's flaws and faults to distract y'all from your own flaws and faults and to distract other people from your own flaws and faults um let's see moody is the second one virgos are so moody like i know that cancers have this crazy rap of being moody as hell yes cancers are very moody because they're ruled by the moon but virgos they don't talk about how moody virgos are enough you never really know what's coming with a virgo like sometimes virgos seem like they're happy and they're in a good mood and then they flip on you and you say one thing and all of a sudden they're pissed and they're like ranting they always go on these angry rants like when they're pissed they go on these rants where they like it's kind of like i call them like the angry mama rant <laughs> where like if they feel disrespected they go on this whole rant and be like and i do this for you and i do that for you and you always do this and i don't like the way you do it and it's kind of like this 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 and they'll be super analytical with it and they'll just throw out all the stuff about you that they don't like in one moment and it can just hit you like oh like it's just stunned like oh my god like did you really just say that to me like they can really hurt your feelings because they're so analytical and they have a lot of feelings and it surprises you because you don't really know that because virgos come off as sometimes not the most emotional person but don't don't let that fool you don't let that whole cool calm facade that they have make you make you think that they're not emotional because Virgos are extremely emotional and they're very picky and they're very sensitive Virgos are extremely sensitive but you will never you won't know this unless you live with a Virgo you know unless you're friends with a Virgo and you spend a lot of time with a Virgo but 
Virgos in that moodiness is just a whole nother thing that I just really would prefer to stay away from. You know, me having a non-confrontational Libra moon and being a non-confrontational Taurus, I'm like, I'm good. It, it, it can be really over overbearing. That's the word. Virgos in their moodiness can be overbearing. They switch back and forth a lot, you know? And I don't think that people talk about that enough. But this is not only with my Virgo sisters, but Virgo girls that I've hung out with, they switch up their mood so fast. It's like one minute they're having a good time, next minute they're crying and depressed, and the next minute they're snapping at you and getting attitude. Another annoying habit that Virgos have is that y'all can just be rude. Like, let's just be real. Like, you'll be talking to a Virgo, and if they don't like what you're saying, they're going to cut you off and, and talk about something that they care about. They're going to be like, you're going to you're gonna say something and talk about something that makes them feel, I've noticed, Virgos, if you talk about something that makes them feel inferior or something that makes them feel inexperienced or something like that, they will like look away and they won't maintain eye contact with you. Not all Virgos, the shy Virgos um, are like this. The more bold Virgos will just simply talk over you. And even the shy Virgos, they'll talk over you. Like, trust me, I know all about it. Because I've grown up with two Virgo sisters from day one to age 23. And I've been surrounded by a lot of Virgo females. So, trust me, I know. When it comes to Virgos, I know all about it. Like, they can talk over you, yell over you. They'll yell at you if they feel like that you're saying something that they don't agree with. They can just be a very overbearing sign to me. I feel like that... Out of all of the earth signs, I feel as though Virgo is the most overbearing because they're so judgmental and so opinionated and they feel as though everybody else should just listen to them. They always have this self-righteous kind of air about them where they feel like that. If they have something to say, you better listen and you better agree to. Virgos, another annoying habit is that y'all always need to be right. No matter what, y'all always need to be right. Like if y'all arguing, y'all will not end that argument until y'all feel like y'all have the last word and that and that everybody is, is in an agreement with you and your opinion. That's one thing that I really can't stand about Virgos. Is they literally always want to be right over stupid shit. Like stuff that nobody even care about. Like they just want to be right. Just for the sake of being right. It could literally be um, who wrote this song. You know, they want to argue about who wrote this song. They need to be right. Even if it's something really, really petty. Because they just have this thing with their ego. Like that's also something that people don't mention about Virgos. Is that Virgos have a mad crazy ego. Like they have a hard time putting their pride aside. And admitting that they did wrong sometimes. Not all Virgos, but this is a lot of Virgos where they can be super prideful and they don't want to admit their faults they just won't do it just don't even expect it they will admit their faults when they are ready and a lot of times it's going to take, take a long long time because a lot of times Virgos don't ever think that they did anything wrong because they have a, a self-righteous kind of um way about them where they literally think they're always right and they always want to fight to be right they just argumentative as hell, y'all. Like, Virgos are so argumentative. It is so annoying. Like, you, you feel, like, suffocated. You feel, like, back into a corner when you're sometimes just having a simple conversation with a Virgo. Because it's not just a conversation. They're literally trying to win you over. They're literally trying to make you feel a certain way. You're not just having a conversation. Um, not always. Virgos are not always like this. Um, I do think that Virgos are great conversationalists. Like, they're really good with speech. And I feel as though... Virgos, they have a lot of common sense. Another thing that I feel like most people who spend time Virgos will agree with me on this, Virgos can be extremely negative. You know, they will see the worst in like every situation. And I understand it's not easy for Virgos to not do this. Let me say that. Virgos, this is annoying as hell, but I know that it's hard for y'all to not do this because y'all by nature are what y'all like to call realist and y'all see reality for what it is. But what I didn't understand Virgos is that reality is not always negative okay just because you're being negative doesn't mean that you're being real because there's a big chunk of positivity that's in reality as well and if i say that to a virgo they'd be like you're just being delusional because virgos are the opposite sign of pisces pisces are super delusional they're way in the clouds and they want to believe in the best of everything and everyone and they're like fairy tale land but virgos they like to be as grounded as possible so they don't want to get too positive and it can cause them to get too negative because they feel like well you know life you be disappointed all the time so you might as well just always be prepared for disappointment you know because they don't like to be let down they don't like to to be in the clouds and get get shot down by some type of life disappointment and i understand that i have to say out of all the signs in the zodiac Virgos are the most negative and it just make it just puts a damper on the mood when you're trying to hang out another thing that Virgos you have a rep for uh, this annoying habit is being boring 
I feel as though it depends on the sign. Like an Aries might find Virgo to be boring, you know? But if you're a Taurus, you may not feel that way. I don't feel that Virgos are really that boring, except for certain times. Like, for example, Virgos would rather, like, sit at home and work on a puzzle than... Or sit at home and work on a crossword puzzle or a jigsaw puzzle than to go out and, um, you know, party and get drinks and have a good time. Because for them, that's not really fun, you know? But me, having a Gemini Venus and a Libra Moon, I'm like, I want to be super duper social. I want to have fun. I want to party. Like, that to me is fun. But a Virgo is not going to see partying as fun all the time. They, they prefer to sit at home and, and you know, knit. <laughs> they want to knit, okay? I don't think the Virgos are as boring as people always describe them to be. But they definitely have their boring moments. Like I already said, I have judgmental and self-righteous. Virgos are so judgmental because they literally think that they know everything. And they think that their way of living is the best possible way of living. I have to say, Virgos are very intelligent. So I can understand why they can get into that mindset and they can get arrogant and think that they know everything because they are very intelligent and they are very analytical. And a lot of times they can be proven right because they're smart. I can also sometimes judge people to a point where it's just not okay like y'all are not perfect and virgos sometimes give off this this vibe that people think that y'all think y'all perfect because y'all was telling everybody what to do so people think well do you think you're perfect you don't have all the answers virgos another thing is that virgos can be perfectionist um they will not stop until it is perfect and it can annoy the person like if you're working with a virgo it can annoy you if you just you want to do the job but you don't you're not as detail oriented it could stress you out because virgos are super detail oriented and they're super perfectionist and it can sometimes drain you like okay okay it's done it's done like, no 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 i gotta get this last little piece right here and it's just like okay i'm i'm drained so if you have a virgo partner they may be perfectionist to the point where it just sucks the joy out of like the work i'm a type of person where my work i want to enjoy like youtube for me is a job i don't want anybody to come by and try to pick and analyze the way that i do things because that is going to suck the joy out of it because a part of this type of job and working is just doing stuff on a whim you know for me doing stuff on a whim and spontaneity and virgos are not good with spontaneity sometimes they need to just stick to the routine and that's what can also make them boring one thing that i've noticed just having virgo sisters uh that they don't really you may not know about virgos is that virgos could be irrational and paranoid as i don't know what like they just have all these weird fears it's like they have this irrational fear of something crazy happening and they'll believe it to be true you know and i don't know i think it's because pisces is their opposite sign and you will always have traits of your opposite sign um in you and virgos have this delusional trait <laughs> where they literally have this irrational crazy fear and they'll still just believe it to the death like it's crazy they'll literally think okay tomorrow morning uh, my best friend's gonna die and they'll just literally think that that's really what's just gonna what's gonna happen and the last thing that virgo's annoying habit is that y'all can be hypochondry freaking x y'all can be hypochondriacs like as soon as y'all stomach starts to hurt y'all think y'all have cancer like as soon as y'all feel funny y'all on web md stressing about y'all having a disease that's literally virgo like this is no exaggeration like my sisters are virgos and as soon as they get sick they're on web md they're making an appointment to see the doctors because they all always think that they're sick with something or at least they're paranoid and terrified that they're sick with something so that's all i have for virgos y'all are some crazy fearful hypochondriac nervous worry wart people i love y'all virgos y'all are amazing y'all are hard workers and i have a lot of respect for virgos y'all are hella intimidating for good reason oh yeah i forgot to mention that y'all can be depressive and neurotic as well that is also a, an annoying habit to me is that y'all can just kind of be like eeyore from pooh bear and just be like everything is sad and there's no point in leaving the house you're just gonna run into somebody that you hate anyway but that's all i have for y'all this video was very long because i have so much to say about virgos and if a video is really long it's because i have more experience with that sign and i have the most experience of virgos like out of all the zodiac signs so that's all i have for y'all today please feel free to like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel i had so much fun filming this video and i look so cute in this video too <laughs> peace out y'all